Good morning everyone, Kiyoe with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. This is some 3v3 testing versus Rey, mostly Rey, just a couple battles against Supreme Leader Kylo. Maxed out my battles yesterday in testing this uh, to try to help not only myself but you guys out. Um, if you come across Rey to see if there's another team that can beat Rey um, besides just Supreme Leader Kylo. I did find this team right here. Depending on the Ray lineup, if it's a defensive lineup with like L3 and Barris, this uh, Jedi Knight Revan Gas and Jedi Knight Luke team can beat it, and you'll see the footage here. I'm also uh, going to ask at the beginning um, uh, for your support, if possible, even if it's a, as little as a dollar. I want to continue to make videos with the new characters that come out. And we got Mon Mothma coming out, and even if it's. Uh, like I said, just as little as a dollar donation. I'll have a link in the description to uh, where you can con donate versus via PayPal or uh, Patreon. Uh, but your support would uh, greatly be appreciated um, so that I can continue to uh, help you guys out in determining whether a new uh, character is uh, worthwhile getting um, or if it's not. Um, but anyway, either way, I appreciate your support, even your subscription and the likes and the comments help out a ton. This is, um, as I said, the if it's a defensive team, like with, like I said here with Bears or L3, even if it's probably like a GK, where there's not mother, much offense besides Ray, this team uh, more than likely can get the job done. Uh, the L3 Bears thing does make it hard. The way to win this, because I tried it various ways, is you have to just go all in on Ray have to go all in on her. I tried targeting Barris first a few times uh, to try to take her out to avoid the, the healing, um, but it just takes too long and at that point in time, Ray has already killed you. You do enough damage with this team, uh, with Jedi's Will, um, and just with the amount of offense that Gas brings to take down Ray even with uh, the Barris healing, as you'll see. Uh, this was uh, the first uh, battle I did and uh, you'll see the next one uh, I do end up actually on this one keeping everyone alive which was which was fantastic and the next one I end up losing uh, Jedi Knight Revan we have Ray here in damage immunity so there's really not much you can do I was hoping to do some damage on uh, Barris there but <laughs> she's so annoying uh, all right so savior has been triggered and now you just have to boom go in all go all in on ray there we go we we're able to get it done you want to you want to do timely taunt removal so call in um like jedi knight luke uh against l3 to remove the taunt so you can also target ray uh, when you don't have her direct focused um, that is also uh, really important and then now with l3 and bears they're not gonna take out your character so it's just a matter of uh, getting them out of there and you do plenty of damage to, to be able to get it done uh, obviously the best thing is to take out bears first which will just make life easier for when you go up against L3 took a picture there to show it to uh, some people in discord to show that that team worked versus this defensive ray team as you'll see after this I'll have tons and tons of losses I started the day with 400,000 crystals end of the day at like 2300 crystals <laughs> refreshing and battling over and over again I really thought that this team would work um, against because uh, I know the Han and Chewie team is a popular one with Ray. I really thought it would work against that unfortunately it does not and even against the uh, resist resistance bros with Finn and Poe this team unfortunately doesn't work against that as well they just go too fast and just do too much damage too quickly. And, and so there's just, you just don't have enough time, enough protection to, to get it done. I'd be, I mean, if you could throw in Hoda and make it four on three, then there's a good chance you could win. But it just uh, doesn't work. My last uh, battle, last uh, time I did this testing, Obviously, Jedi Knight Luke wasn't around, um, and I had no shot even when I tried to put Hoda in place of Jedi Knight Luke. Jedi Knight Luke gives you the extra offense that you need, and also the the Jedi's will, the, 
the extra extra offense and uh, that you can get which which helps out a ton so you want to make sure that when you're attacking right you you have that up as well just to give you the the boost that you that you need in order to, to get the victory boom boom there we go and now it's just a matter of, of taking uh, the last two weak characters out and that's why this one works is just because they're not you don't have to worry about them doing damage to you Han and Chewie do tons of damage and then obviously Finn and Poe together do lots of damage and there's they just can't they just can't withstand it I can get Chewie out but I can't get uh, I can't get uh, Han in time uh, before Ray and Han together just demolish the team I have another one showing my um, Supreme Leader Kylo team with uh, uh, GBA and um, GBA and Thrawn uh, after this battle. I wanted to see if this uh, strategy works just in 3v3 or you, just like it is in, in 5v5. Pass the turn meter to Jedi Knight Luke, stun everyone, and then basically you want to take out Hux. Jedi Knight Revan is sadly going to get. Uh, going to use a uh, savior but that's okay now we're, we're forced to kind of go after um crew just make your, sure you do those timely uh because obviously you don't want to get him into his ultimate so just uh time out the the foresight when you can with with hoda and then obviously master's training on jedi knight luke and since they're not really doing any damage he's not going to get into his ultimate you got all three characters and and so that should looks like that should be a pretty good counter um i didn't do get to do enough testing because like i ran out with uh, ray so i don't that's really the only comp i was able to test i only had a couple battles left um and i just at least wanted to try to get a battle in against a first order team to see how that would perform and it performed pretty well this is uh this is like the most unfortunate beginning because han goes after thrawn stuns him which obviously hurts i end up losing this battle but i don't think it's it's not because of the team it's because i played it poorly at the end you'll see so thrawn unfortunately gets stunned so you can't uh uh so that that slow things up a little bit luckily you have uh at least after that <laughs> another target that they can go after and brute um, so at least Thrawn gets his fracture off for a moment, but then Chewie comes and ruins it. And um, so I don't—I just don't think I played this uh, played this right, because uh, I think if I would have, I'll have to look, re actually rewatch it. I think if I would have stunned Chewie at the beginning, then he wouldn't have got that move off to to kill Thrawn. But uh, so I think this was just poorly played, because uh, I've really never lost. Um, using this team this was the first time and even at the end I just I play it uh, completely uh, wrong when I have my ultimate all ready to go instead of uh, when I get uh, Ray when she gets into damage immunity that I should have taken one more turn to uh, go after Han so there she's in damage immunity I should have one after Han because uh, Ray wouldn't have went right away and then I probably would have done I could have what stunned Han or at least slowed him down maybe taken him out and then went into my ultimate um, and then I would have I would have uh, probably won this battle uh, so that was just a poor play on my part I'll do another one I do another one and there we are we almost had we almost had Ray just that was just my 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 fault poor playing on, on my part and then after this is going to be another one same team uh this time han goes after i think it's uh the brute and obviously with that it's just, it just makes things a lot easier so then we will um basically it's the same battle and like i said you'll be able to, to see uh, a different outcome if they don't go after Thrawn. I just, again, just re out the 
redoing that last uh, battle, if I just would have played it differently, it would have been uh, would have been a victory. I just uh, played it really poorly. But obviously here it makes things a lot easier with them uh, uh, going after Brute. So anyway, uh, the rest of the video is just going to be me trying different teams. I tried Darth Vader. Um, just I can't. You just don't have enough time to, to get out and do damage. Uh, I can eliminate usually a character, uh, but not enough to uh, to take out Ray. I tried different Vader teams with Watt. And Thrawn, uh, I even put one with uh, Hoda in there because Han immediately stuns Thrawn. So I put Hoda in there to give Master's training to Thrawn to heal him up right away so he can still get his fracture off. But it's just uh, it's still not, not enough. They just do too much damage uh, and kill everyone too fast. But uh, anyway... So enjoy the music and the rest of the battles as you see me fail over and over again. I'll keep testing. I'm hoping there's some type of magical lineup, but I think if there was, uh, I think someone would have found it out by now against Ray. At least I found the one against a defensive Ray with a Jedi Knight Revan, Gas, and Jedi Knight Luke that can work. But uh, again, it's going to be team dependent on what's, uh, what's on the other side. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate all the support. Everyone have a fantastic day and Kiwi out.